Hey guys, welcome back. First off, this video will apply to all Panther cars. Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Town Car, Marauder, P71, P7B from 1992 to 2011. So I just got done changing the transmission filter and fluid on my 2010 Grand Marquis. And I thought I would take this opportunity to share what I've learned and uh, put together some optional tips to make this job flow a little bit easier. So first I'd like to talk about adding a drain plug to your transmission pan, the transmission filter, and these seven different transmission fluids that I've been using on my 04 and 2010 Panther cars, and why I'll no longer be using two of them. More on that later. So first and foremost, uh, the most important thing that makes this job easier is uh, to somehow get fluid out of the system so that before when you drop the pan you don't have four quarts of fluid all rushing out at once. Now if you've got the car on a lift it's not really a problem but I think most of us are working on jack stands uh, lying on our backs uh, so uh, every little bit helps. So it really helps to have a uh, to install a drain plug on your uh, transmission pan and if you haven't done one of these done one of these yet what I was using is I was using these uh, hand pumps with a clear hose and you stick it down the dipstick tube and I'm able to suck out uh, 2.5 quarts of fluid and what that does is when I remove the pan uh, 1.5 quarts of fluid remains in the pan so I'm able to drop it uh, without uh, spilling a drop and getting fluid everywhere but this hand pump was getting uh, kinda old pumping it and there's one other tip, uh, you can remove a uh, transmission line near the cooler, near the, near the uh, radiator and just put, one of the, put that rubber line in a one gallon milk jug and then start the engine for about 30 seconds. Uh, but this might take two people to do because you'll have to have one person watch the uh, milk jug and when it gets around three quarters uh, full you have the person on the inside shut the engine off so it doesn't overfill and you don't uh, run the transmission pump dry and cause any damage to that. So uh, that's why I opted to uh, finally get around and in installing one of these drain plugs. So I installed this uh, six months ago at my last service and real quick let me show you how this works. So I bought another one of these to put on my Vic and this is it right here. So you'll drill a hole in your transmission pan, stick this in here, uh, put this nut back on there and now you've got this little uh, screw that you can remove with a hex key and now this is how you'll drain the fluid out of your pan so you can uh, drop the pan without having four quarts of fluid all come out at once and um, I installed my drain plug on the very uh, lowest point of the transmission pan uh, pointing straight down and I did that because I wanted to drain my fluid uh, directly into one of these uh, used or one of these old uh, five quart uh, oil jugs and you can see that uh, I made this line on here right there and I was able to drain uh, 3.5 quarts uh, out of the drain plug and then uh, when I removed the pan uh, the other half a quart uh, fell out when I removed the filter so uh, that right there uh, was really uh, convenient and almost pleasurable, not spilling a drop and not having to worry about fluid uh, s s uh, sloshing everywhere when I dropped the pan. So uh, I got to give a shout out to uh, Butler uh, Auto Hobbies for recommending this other drain plug and he prefers the Dorman brand and it's pretty much the same uh, plug with one difference and it uses an actual bolt with an, a rubber o-ring. Uh, so I guess um, this can be a lot easier uh, replacing this O-ring because these I found out with these uh, Durali brand, thanks to uh, Hollywood Hornet, it really helps to use a piece of Teflon tape to get a good seal on that. And if you don't, it might weep over time. Now, if you're not too keen on uh, drilling a hole in your transmission pan, Dorman, they've got you covered. Uh, they've got a... Uh, transmission pan, a replacement transmission pan, and it's already got a built-in drain plug on it right there. And these go for $26. And 
And if you want to get an OEM uh, transmission pan, thanks to uh, Mr. Black from PNW Car Mods and Maintenance, uh, he goes to the junkyard and looks for an old U-Haul box van because they use the same transmissions as us and those transmission pans already have a uh, drain plug on them. So I went over to my uh, local uh, junkyard website and they sell the transmission pans for around $33. And if you go to the junkyard, you might want to grab the gasket that comes with it because these gaskets are reusable as long as they're not damaged or too beaten up. And these gaskets can go for $23 brand new, so that might add some value. So uh, real quick, I'm always curious to uh, know what the owner's manual says about changing the uh, filter and fluid uh, interval. So I pulled the uh, scheduled maintenance guide for my 2004 and 2010, and the very first time it mentions to change the transmission fluid and the filter, is at 150,000 miles and then also under special operating conditions it says to change the fluid every 30,000 miles uh, if you meet this criteria and the criteria is towing a trailer extensive idling or low speed driving for long distances as in heavy commercial use such as delivery taxi patrol car or livery uh, CVPI taxi executive series town car equipped with engine idle meter operating in dusty conditions such as unpaved roads and off-road operation. So it looks like uh, the very first filter is supposed to last 150,000 miles and uh, if, you're, if you meet one of those special operating conditions you can leave the filter and just keep changing the fluid every 30,000 miles. But now that our cars are almost a decade or two decades or three decades old, uh, you might want to accelerate that just a little bit sooner. And uh, this is the filter that I'm using. I use the Motocraft uh, FT-105. They're $13.85. I got this at Walmart. And uh, this filter, uh, the FT-105, it fits all Panther cars from 1996 to 2011 and if you've got a 1992 to 1995 you'll use the FT100. I'll put a link to that down below. And it looks like these filters are made by SPX Filtran and I looked them up and it looks like they make a lot of the uh, OEM filters for all the manufacturers. And it, It's made in USA and the company's in Illinois. Okay. Oh yeah, real quick, If you f when you drop your pan, if you find one of these plugs, it just means that most likely you're the first person to drop the pan and change the filter and clean the magnet. And uh, when the transmissions are being uh, manufactured, they install this plug in the end of the dipstick tube and then they shelve the transmission for uh, however many months or years because they don't know when that transmission is going to go in a chassis and when they pull the transmission off the shelf and install it in a chassis then they install the dipstick tube and then uh, install the dipstick and then it dislodges this down into the pan. Okay, uh, so let's uh, talk about fluid real quick. So starting in 1992, uh, Ford's uh, specification for the fluid was Mercon. Uh, ATF or just plain Mercon and then in 1998 they upgraded to uh, Mercon V and then in 2006 they released this technical service bulletin 06-14-4 that said uh, Mercon was no longer going to be manufactured and it's being replaced by Mercon V and in 2009 they had another update that said the specification is Mercon LV and how I like to remember that is with this handy dandy color coded chart and these are our two transmissions right here the 4R70 and the 4R75 and from 2009 and newer it uses the LV and from 2008 and older it uses the Mercon V and a little, I wanted a little bit more information on the Mercon V fluid, so I pulled the product information sheet. And the Mercon V has a viscosity index of 205. 
And the Mercon LV has a viscosity index of 155. And off the shelf at your local auto parts store, this stuff is going to be around $10 a quart uh, for either variation, the V or the LV. So I went looking to see if I could find it any cheaper, and I found this on Amazon. You can buy a 12-quart case for $85, and that'll bring it down to almost $7 a quart. So that's uh, $3 a quart cheaper. That can help a lot. And as far as the Mercon V, the cheapest I could find it was in a 5-quart jug for $41. So that's around $8.22 a quart. And another option is uh, my local Ford dealer. Uh, they actually carry uh, the stuff in stock and they sell it for $8.45 a quart. And if you're a Costco membership, uh, you can head over to the Costco website and print a 15% off coupon. And I actually bought a bottle of each for $7.10, so that's not too bad. <clears throat> and way back when, uh, my dealership was out of stock, so I went over to Walmart and I found this um, uh, Supertech Mercon V for $5.84. I used that the very first time I did my 04. And... Uh, they also carry a brand, or they also carry the LV, and that's a little bit higher at seven dollars and seventy-two cents. And I want, wanted to know who actually made the uh, Mercon, so I I, I googled the uh, the part number in this web search UPC index, and it looks like it's made by Warren Distribution, uh, the same people that makes the motor oil. And this is the LV, Warren Distribution. And uh, just recently I found this stuff right here. Uh, this is the Valvoline Mercon V. And it's only uh, $5.47, so that's a bargain. And the real uh, announcement is they've got LV for the same price of $5.47. And that's uh, a really good value. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. And real quick, I was using this. Uh, this is the Valvoline uh, Max Life Multi Vehicle Universal Fluid. And the very first time I learned about this was when I bought my 2010 Grand Marquis. I uh, printed a Carfax. I purchased a Carfax. And I noticed on uh, January, February, March, April, on uh, May, no, yeah, on May 22nd. 2017 the previous owner had a transmission fluid change at a Valvoline instant oil change at 60,000 miles and it even had the phone number of the uh, repair facility in Brookings Oregon so I phoned that telephone number and I, I asked them a few questions and what I got out of them is that they only have one transmission fluid uh, every car gets the same fluid and they don't change any filters uh, they just do a flush and that's this uh, red bottle right here. And this is a really good value because it's only $18 a gallon, which is only $4.49 a quart, but I won't be using this anymore. More on that later. So um, back to the uh, Valvoline Mercon V fluid, I pulled the uh, product uh, information sheet and the viscosity index is 193. And then on their LV fluid, the viscosity index is 155 and then the universal stuff the red bottle is 163 so I've made a little chart uh, to make sense of that and so these are the three fluids right here that are the Mercon V and these are the LV and then this is that Max Life Universal so uh, Ford uh, the, the, the OEM factory uh, motorcraft fluid uh, the viscosity index for the V is 205, and this uh, Valvoline is 193, so it's off by 12 points. It's, it's too thin by about 12 points. And I looked for the product information sheet for the Mercon V, and I couldn't find it. They do not post it online. So if anybody knows uh, the website where I can go to look that up, please let me know. And... Uh, the, the, the OEM factory Motorcraft Mercon LV is 
has a viscosity index of 155 and this Valvoline LV hits it right on the nose 155 and again the Supertech uh, no they don't list their specification now this universal stuff in the red bottle right here that I was using it's a 163 so it's just a little bit thicker by eight points and so um, now and and I did not know this at the time when I was using that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to discontinue the use of that and I'm going to switch to this uh, Mercon LV made by Valvoline because it's only one dollar per quart more and I only need four quarts when I do a pan drop so it's only four dollars more and again these are the prices right here so the uh, the uh, OEM factory motorcraft if you buy it by the case is seven dollars twelve cents uh, the Valvoline is 547, the Supertech is 554, uh, the OEM Factory Motocraft LV is $8.22 a quart if you buy the 5 quart jug. Uh, Valvoline LV is 547, Supertech is 772, and the uh, Universal stuff is 449 a quart. So, um, Oh, and another thing, uh, when you drop your uh, transmission pan, when I remove the bolts out of the transmission pan, I like to make one of these little cardboard stencils, and I, I uh, draw little circles where the bolts are. So when I remove a bolt from the pan, I uh, put it in this cardboard in the same position so that when I put the bolts back, I put the same bolts back in the same hole because I found sometimes these bolts don't want to go back in the same hole and I don't want to force them back in so uh, that's another tip right there okay um, I think that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye